Okay, a bit of a precursor. This video is kind of all over the place. It's not really designed for beginners, but it's just sort of showing a few little things that I learned while experimenting with this sound uh, in Xenology Pro. Enjoy. <laughs> So you can see straight away that when the velocity changes, the sound actually changes or like the timbre and uh, the different elements of the sound change. So I'll give you a quick breakdown of the sound here. So without all the um, native Ableton effects, just in Xenology, this is what we have. And if I turn off the modulation here, so it's velocity and LFO2. So I've just got a square wave here and uh, the pulse width modulation depth uh, that's being sent to LFO2. Basically, it's taking this pulse width and it's sending it up and down, up and down, up and down based on this LFO here, which is set to half notes. So one bar, a uh, one beat every half a bar and it's offset positively. And what that means is this center point is where the setting of the source that you're sending to the LFO is so this center line here is where that is so it's sending it up and then down and then like so so basically it's going from here it's oh well technically it's starting here so it's going up and then down just below the point it's set and then up just down below the point it's set and it's just constantly doing that at the rate of a half of half notes and I've changed the fat control a little bit as well um, just brought that down so the fat control here what it does is it uh, accentuates the lower frequencies of the waveform. So if we bring that back to default, I'll take that LFO2 off as well. Sounds pretty fat. By the way, I didn't mention it's got mono turned on, unison turned on with the unison size at 4 and the unison detune at 7 and legato and then portamento is glide time so if we listen to it without unison that's just the just just the square wave here with these settings and the profit 5 filter turned on here at a 24 decibel cutoff and it's got a little bit of lfo2 there as well sorry i'm going all over the place here but rather than recreating it i thought i'd just show you what i did and share some tips so if we turn the lfo2 back up on the pulse width modulation um and and unison back on okay so that's it for that then I'm, what I've done is in this range control section here I've taken um, LFO2 here uh, in, in the matrix control section sorry I've taken LFO2 and told it to control the fat parameter as well so if we go back to our oscillator here LFO2 we get to be a partial one LFO2 is also controlling this fat amount so it's a really small uh, amount negatively so instead of sending it um, uh, up and down up and down it's actually sending it down and up down and up etc etc so just the opposite it being in the negative value I've done a whole video on matrix control you can check that out so LFO2 is also controlling the fat and now I've got this second one here this is got this is velocity so I'm telling the velocity to control the amp amplitude of the sound or the level or volume to be controlled by LFO1 and then I've also got the velocity telling the fat control to go down so what that means if we open the MIDI clip here so, so the velocity that each note is pressed at will control how much of the amplitude or level of volume is sent to LFO1 and how much the fat control is applied negatively so at minimum velocity sounds like this and then when a the velocity is full uh, it's going to send the amp envelope oh sorry not the amp envelope it's going to send the volume to LFO1 and it's also going to reduce the fat so if we go back to partial one here when the amplitude is when the velocity is minimum the fat's going to be where it is but then when the velocity is maximum it's going to send the fat volume down fully. As well as having the amplitude of the sound 
being sent to LFO1 as well. And LFO1 is set to eighth notes with key trigger turned on, tempo sync, so it's syncing to the tempo of the track, which in this case is 182. Love, love that fast D&B. It's got a slight delay on the LFO, uh, and it's got a slight fade on it as well, so when the note hits, it takes like a half a second for the LFO to be applied. Not even half a second, a few moments really. And also, uh, it is offset all the way down, so by default it sits here. So what that's doing is the amplitude of the sound is being sent to LFO 1 the, when the velocity is increased. So the more you increase the velocity of a note, the more of the amplitude it sends to LFO1. So if you just want it slightly wobbly, you could reduce our velocity here. But while it's, while it's increasing the velocity, it's also changing the fat control as well. But it's bringing the fat parameter down because I've set the... Uh, control here in the negative value you can see there it's like negative 51 52 something like that a little bit confusing i know all over the place um, check out my video on the matrix control in xenology pro to get a better idea of how this works i've outlined everything what all of these different things mean etc etc so yeah i just kind of wanted to share that with you because uh, it's yeah it sounds pretty cool oh yeah i have the analog feel set to about 26 or so yeah and then from there i just added a bunch of ableton effects just the default preset multiband compression under multiband dynamics here and then i added a little bit of bit crushing just um actually let's listen to it by itself and then we we'll add the multiband compression uh, yeah, and then I've got a, a bit crusher, just a little bit of bit crushing here. Then I've boosted the lows um, and taken out a bunch of the highs. And then I've added some overdrive, so about 300 hertz or so, kind of those low low mids. Turn the drive up, the tone up, turn the dynamics down, and the dry wet really far down. So it's just it bringing some of those um, harmonics back in. So without it. And then boosting it. Really subtle difference. You could even bring it up here and add some of those highs back in. If that's the sound you want. Then my favorite preset, the saturator preset, a bit warmer. Thanks for watching.